Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. What do we have here? This is a small amplifier. It was brought during the day for me to repair. That's why I'd opened the screws. Faster, faster, we open this thing. I had already opened it. Now the owner says this thing does not turn on and it is not working. But you can clearly see somebody tried to repair. You can see the high C section there. I'm going to forward the video so that we can take less time. Now of course this IC cannot be working. Actually there was no heat sink. So this is TDS7266. Yeah, TDS7266. And this is the display. Now what we do when we get these amplifiers, the first thing we test is the display. So that we can know if it is working. You can see this one is using 5 volts. You see there there is 5 and the ground. Now I get a USB cable. So down the positive and the negative sides. And then we use this power bank here. <laughs> yeah, the display is working. You can see line, don't know, USB, radio. Yeah, so the display is working. Now we have to deal with the motherboard. Now let me explain how this thing works. Eh? Yeah, this is the IC. Now, how this thing operates, what happens? Power gets in through here. You can see that part. Then comes all the way up to the high C, that is the, yeah, and this other regulator here, 7805, that gives power to this display here, and then, now that is the end of the power. Now, this display now picks music from USB, you see memory card, radio, does it have Bluetooth? I'm not sure. So it takes it through all this cable and gets it there, that part. As the left, right and ground, you can see them there. Now those ones go to this volume knob. You see this volume one. And also this one is also the switch. Those two parts are the switch. And let me point. So they come from there, they go there. This is the volume, so when you turn the volume, you increase. Then they also go to the trample and also to the base knobs. This is the base, this is the trample. Then from there, they go to this uh, 4558. 40, it is a preamp, which now differentiates the base and the, uh, and the trample or rather the tone, then they come all the way to the IC. They send the signal to the IC. Now the IC uses power to, the, to amplify and then sends them to the speaker. Now what we do, we check if the power section is okay, so that now you can come to the IC. 
but I had to remove the IC because clearly you can see that this part has been interfered. The IC does not seem to be working. So this other part, so I clean very fast. This guy had put a lot of solder there. I had to clean it with a dry cleaner, then solder, just small solder there to join the bridged place. You can see the meter is showing that the connection is there. Then for the volume knob, the ground was shorting with the input signal. See this part? And what I did, I had to remove the those two legs for the, <laughs> for the ground. Yeah, because it was shorting with the signal eh, from the display. Yeah, now you see it is not shorting. It was shorting and when things short with ground, things don't go good. So what I did, I just folded those two pins. Let me call them pins, not legs. Yeah, you can see they are folded. They are the ground. Those two are the ground. The next are for the signal. Yeah, they are already folded. You can see this thing is free to move. It's also the switch. So I tested with the power and the regulator is working. You have seen 4.94 volts. And it is able to turn on the display. So now what is remaining, it is just the IC. Now for the IC, I did not have the 7266. I had this 7805. So what I did, I had to convert it by following these pinouts. Eh? You can see the pinouts, how they are set there. So you just connect them using a wire. Let me show you how I did. First I folded the IC pins and then I connected them with these wires. Eh? <laughs> for the speaker, for the power, for the ground. So that I can now put them on the board, on the amplifier board. Eh? So I can remove this thing. This is the we replace this speaker connectors. This one is already used up. Faster, faster using a soldering iron. I'm forwarding the video so that it won't take so much time. Yeah, we remove that one, then we click this one. Eh? So we soldered the pins for the speakers left, right, you know. Yeah, now they are good. You can see them there. So now it is time now to... But I had to use a meter to determine the pinouts because they are not the same. So I find the positive, the ground, the input for the signal in. Yeah. Then after finding them, now it's time to solder. The positive, the red one is the positive or the VCC. The black one is the ground. Now the green one is the input signal. I just had to put them there, the left and right. But this one was using one channel, so I just connected them together. And you can see it is there. <laughs> now it's time to test. Oh, we, let's put the speaker into the speaker connector. It's just a small speaker to do the testing. And we use power from a power supply, a computer power supply, 12 volts. But 
I make sure things do not touch each other. Power supply on. Let's turn on this thing. It is working. These are things we have been doing eh? <laughs> time and again for the repair of the amplifiers. Let me just connect the radio. is working now what we do we use this heat sink for the IC and of course we apply the heat paste and then this one does not have screws so I attached a wire I made sure it is firm using a pliers it is attached there then you put all the contents into the container that one there make sure they don't touch each other yeah there for the speaker connectors i used a glue gun to get them together and there it is now testing though i did not use a usb just tested the radio everything is working Thank you for watching the video, please subscribe.